Hello everyone, this is Book of Jam and today I am playing Portal 2. It's uh, it's another new well, <laughs> another new series by me. So hopefully hopefully I can uh, do this one with decent time anyway. Let's get started right away. So I don't think it's been too long since uh, Portal 1. Actually that might be a lie. It's been a few months, like three months ish. Or two. I don't know. Honestly, I cannot remember when I uploaded my um, final episode of Portal One. But eh, if you haven't watched it, then I recommend it. And I'll be quiet. For Fifty days in compliance with state and federal regulations. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. It seems Good. seems easy Let's easy puzzle so far. Of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go yes. stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When okay, you hear then. the buzzer, stare at the art. <laughs> is that all I have to do? I mean, it's it's not you bad. You feel mentally reinvigorated. Indeed. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> what, is, what is going now, on? Please return to your bed. Okay, well that was easy enough. That was Okay, first puzzle done, episode over. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. There'll be much, you much have more. Been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Uh, Hello? Immediately. Are you gonna open the pack? Ah! Oh, God, you. Hello. Um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Uh, what? So, um... You all right down there? Can you hear me? Y yeah. Hello? Hi. I, I'm still good. So, um... I Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? I all, think does so. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. <laughs> uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say it. <laughs> Apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Ah. Um. Okay, look. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on. Oh god, the frames. <laughs> the reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. <laughs> Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Oh and wow. Course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? Ah. You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But not enough space. Oh god, this can and only I end just, badly. I've got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. Come on, man. How do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. <laughs> okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. <laughs> okay. Almost there. 
On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, God, here we go. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh, God. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Seriously, do hold on this time. Are we through? There we go. Now, All right, honest, we're good. You are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. Well, we'll but, see about that. Um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay then. So, I guess that's the first cutscene over. Alright, off you go. Okay, okay, you hang on. The spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science oh, Enrichment Center. Sit on. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond <laughs> our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded hey. messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still oh, be done, God. even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. My frames are not happy right now. I don't know why. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, with two one. Yeah. So I'm not sure why my frames are so choppy right now. They were fine just before. Uh, I don't know, they're all right now. I don't know. Ah, we'll work it out. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it until... Oh god, I'm about to sneeze. Uh, we'll go with it until something really bad happens. I apologize. It's it's this time of year and I'm still getting hay fever, so... I can't help it. <laughs> Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> uh, I feel like I feel like I want to add subtitles just because that's like how I did it in Portal One, but I might have that done for next episode. Uh, Please let's... note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. So, oh, yeah, I was about to get the block, but I need that to get through. So, thing is. I was going to say. Oh yeah, I've, I've been able to tell what everyone's saying so far, so it's not like I really need the subtitles, it's just kind of... Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that went well. So I guess that, that uh, robot guy, that's... I recognise the voice, it's um, who's the Majiggy, Stephen Merchant. I like Stephen Merchant. <laughs> so hopefully that, that, that should bode well for this for this um, series, I guess. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation drill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> okay then, puzzle number one out of 19. So we've got a 19 standard puzzles like we did in Portal 1. So, uh, I haven't. I, I've played the uh, multiplayer Portal 2 before, which is really good fun. I might see if anyone's up for playing that after I do this series, but for now. Wait, hang on, what? What am I trying to say? Oh! I got it. <laughs> Derp. So. Yeah, for now I'm just going to play through this. I haven't played through the single player campaign. I've had the game for actually quite a while because I got it on PlayStation ages ago so that me and my brother could play um, co-op on the PlayStation. And we did, and it was fun. <laughs> I don't know if we ever finished it, but... Oh god, the frames. I apologise so much. I'm going to have to play around with some settings after this episode. Oh no, I'll take a quick break and have a look at the settings. I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back, and it, oh, it doesn't appear to be a huge difference in frames, which is really annoying. I've degraded some of the settings, and my computer still doesn't like it, but what are you going to do? 
So, I guess I guess we just have to fight through it uh, as much as I hate as much as I hate to. Yeah, it's getting better again. I'm hoping that this improves overall for the whole thing. Because of the see. technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering oh, the relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. All the boxes. So, as I was saying before, uh, the frames. Uh, hopefully, there isn't too much of a huge difference. Sorry, I'm getting face. I can see my iPod lighting up, getting Facebook messages. Um, I shouldn't get distracted. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully, the uh, graphical quality hasn't been if the Earth is currently affected by too much. Animal but. king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. <laughs> animal king takeover. Yeah. Hopefully. The uh, graphical quality isn't damaged too much, but we'll see. Uh, one can hope. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying before? I've kept fairly... In fact, I've kept very spoiler-free in terms of this game. Uh, I don't know what happens. All I know is that it's longer than Portal 1, so... There'll be more than seven hey, episodes this time. You made it! Hey! Hi. There should be a, a Portal device on that podium over there. Mm, can I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? I think. Hello? I think he fooled me. The portal, <laughs> no. Also, are you alive? Yes. Okay. Well, that's that's thoughtful. It's very thoughtful, thanks to the consideration. Uh, I'm still alive though, so... So, let's see. Yeah, I know this game is longer than uh, Portal 1, which is going to be quite nice, because I, I, I enjoy Portal 1, and hopefully I can enjoy Portal 2 just as much, if not more. Don't go down this way. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all Enjoy. lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. What? I mean, I can appreciate the fact that that means that I'm going to have to deal with all the bad things, like the, the stuff that always likes to shoot. Oh, I can do this again, can I? Yeah! Take that up at your signs. If you feel that a lethal military oh God, these... has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A will future they? Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So the old frames seem to be all right here. It's just hey, where else? <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be shot at again by something or another. So we'll see how that goes. So. What was I going to say? Yes, this is my first proper video in quite a while. I apologize about that, but I've had this next test a very busy very summer. Dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in Woo. three, two, one. <laughs> well, I'll go with that. Aww. God damn it! I was I would have been happy with smooth jazz. Whew, hello. That's that's one thing that I will keep doing. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I can't portal through. Th what? I really need to. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. I understand how to do this. I can do portal. <laughs> I remember how to play this game, goddammit. Puzzle number four. Still no... Still nothing from the... Who's in the Roxy? Wait, how do I get up there? 
I had a puzzle like this in the... Uh... I don't know how to do it. Herder. Again, I can portal me. So I'm going to guess it's down here as well. Yeah! Fun times. Great work. Whoops. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Ah, uh, just a thought. How am I going to get out there? Oh. I made it. I did it. Oh, God, the frames. The frames. The frames. This is, this is horrible. Um... I don't really know what to do. If you guys have any suggestions, I mean, I suppose I could close some programs. The episode's fairly near the end anyway, so unreason. Wow, all the maths. Why is, why is Delta squared? I don't understand. Um, yeah. Wait. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. Wait. Can I pick up the computer? I'd rather take a computer with me on my epic adventures. Oh, a can of beans, that'll do. That will do. Okay, so, this way. No! My can of beans! God damn it. Oh well, whatever. So, probably I will do this next puzzle and then I think I'll end the episode here. So, so far so good. I'm enjoying it. Uh... I can imagine this being uploaded not too far from now, from when I'm recording. Probably tomorrow. If the we'll see. Is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Hmm. Seems fair. Puzzle five, the last one of this episode. So, what's that I can hear? Is that? Running water, I can hear. Oh, God, Alan knows. Wait. Okay. Okay, there's a box. Make that fall, and then. Oops, put that there. Oh, cool. Uh, we need a box to go there. What does that do? Okay. Thought as much. What does this do? Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah! <laughs> so pro. <laughs> okay then. Well done. The there we go. Center reminds you that although circumstances may Hello. appear bleak, you are not alone. No. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in Damn apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Okay, so I can't get this camera down. Oh well, screw it. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here. Um, with all the laggy frames. Now, if you guys have any suggestions about how I can improve my frames then that's more than welcome. I'll try shutting some programs, some background processes down and see if that improves it for next episode. But for now, for now, we'll, uh, we'll leave it as is and wait, what am I saying? Well, for this episode, you know, it's been and done, you know. So hopefully the frames haven't got to you too much. Um, and hopefully you are looking forward to the rest of this brand new series, because I know I certainly am. I am looking forward a lot to uh, Portal 2. So, thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.